riding along in my automobile with my little sat nav or GPS beside me at the wheel. I'm on California's famous Highway 1, the coastal road, heading to meet the man who helped revolutionize the way we navigate. Brad Parkinson began work on the GPS some 40 years ago, a military invention now familiar to so many of us. GPS is a ubiquitous worldwide utility that allows you to know where you are and what time it is with great accuracy anywhere. Parkinson is an American hero. In the late 60s, he flew combat missions over Laos. I understood the value of precision weapon delivery. I understood that it would be a humane use of a bomb if you can hit what you want to hit and not hit a mosque, hospital, or school. He showed me artifacts from 1981, just a few of many accumulated during the development of GPS. And this is a 2F satellite. What we are doing is calculating exactly where the center of this satellite is relative to where we are. And so as that satellite goes around in orbit, we have stored in it where it's going to be. So as part of the message that comes down, it keeps saying, I am here, time is this. I am here, time is this. We lock up on that signal, lock up on three others, and we find out where we are. For full global coverage, GPS needs a minimum of 24 satellites to be orbiting the Earth at any one time. In our current position, you would see 11,000 miles away. Right now, there's probably 11 satellites. And what a good receiver does now, it listens to all of them and gets a stronger solution. But the basic requirement to pinpoint a single location, only four. And then you not only know latitude, longitude, altitude, but also time. GPS didn't become fully operational until 1995. Now it's an integral part of so many industries, from farming to landing planes, even keeping track of great white sharks. And the value of such a coveted technology? $100 billion a year to the American economy alone. We estimate there are over a billion GPS receivers in use today. And the reason is simple. It's that virtually every one of these devices comes with one. Do you know how much it costs? About a dollar and a half. That cheap, it's amazing. And the original devices that we built probably cost a half a million dollars. Turn right on Hill Street. Brad Parkinson calls it the stealth utility. The point is, it's everywhere. It becomes something you rely on so much. You go to a strange town, dial up GPS, take you somewhere, and you say, well, how did I get here? I don't know. I followed the little arrow. I listened to the lady's voice who told me where to go. Meanwhile, you've lost your sense of, of how you actually did it. What does the future hold? I think it leads to robotic cars. I think there will come a time when you go down the highway and you don't have to have your hand on the steering wheel at all. As we learn new ways of using GPS, the American technology remains the standard. But the Russians, the Chinese, the Europeans are all trying to perfect their own systems. As for you and me with a GPS device or a smartphone in hand, it's ever harder to get lost, even in the wilderness. Thank you.